I'm Gannon Vasquez. I'm Eliza Flores. And I'm Satyara Avon. I hope you're having a great day, runners. This Friday is the St. Patty's Day hangout. It will start at 2.45 and at 4 o'clock. Hope you come and wear some green. Today, runners will be an empowerment pledge during lunch. You can receive a ribbon. So make sure to recognize all the amazing women on campus. Are you going to the empowerment pledge at lunch today? Of course. Also, runners, the book fair um, is still going this week, so make sure to stop by the library and pick up a book. Bye, runners! What's up, runners? Welcome back to the weather of the week. Wednesday's weather is 71. Thursday's weather is 71. Friday's weather is also 71. Saturday and Sunday's weather is 72 and 77. Monday's weather is 81. And Tuesday's weather is 81. Thanks for watching, runners. Bye! I'm Ricky Ray. I'm here with Jen Lambert. Today we're going to be talking about sports. Each week of Women's History Month, we will be telling you about two female athletes. Serena Williams is considered to be by many the best tennis player of all time. Ranked number one by the Women's Tennis Association for the first time on July 8, 2002. She has since achieved this rank six times. On February 18, 2013, she became the oldest number one player in WTA history. As of 2016, she maintains that top spot at the age of 34. Clocking in at 6'5", Lisa Leslie was the most dominant player in the WNBA for many years. A three-time league MVP, the ambidextrous center led the United States to four Olympic gold medals in 1996, 2001, and 2008. This year's March Madness champion at Cedar Grove Elementary School, with the final score being 21-18 to against Badillo. Congratulations to Cedar Grove. Late birthday to Anthony Davis, who had 27 points and 25 boards on Monday. Celtics are number one in the league with a 49 and 14 record. The Lakers are ninth in the West with a 36 and 30 record, and the Clippers are 41 and 22. My name is James. We're going to be listing the top five WNBA players right now. Top five is Chelsea Gray on the Las Vegas Aces. Number four is Jackie Young on the Las Vegas Aces. Number three is Alyssa Thomas on the Connecticut Suns. Number two is Aja Wilson on the Las Vegas Aces. I don't know if I said that right. Number one is Brenda Stewart on the New York Liberty. And also, Cedar Grove won uh, March Madness. Good job, guys. Emmett Young. Emmett, how are you surprised of your former elementary school? Yes, we usually lost, so I'm pretty surprised that we won this time, but, but good job. I'm, I'm proud of you guys. Yeah. All right, good job, and bye. Welcome back to another episode of Hanging with the Hendersons. Today's topic is all about snow. I'm Mr. Snow. Cartography. Snow in gravity. Bye bye, snow. Do your thing, gravity. Nutrition. Religion. Geography. A plateau. Map. A flat plane. More math. Hanging with the Hendersons, do you have anything else to add? Any more? Snow more. Have a good spring break! Hello runners, I'm Gavin Lozier and today we are going to be telling you the top 5 most popular movies of the week. Number 5 is Man of Web, number 4 is Poor Things, number 3 is uh, Dune, number 2 is uh, Spaceman, and number one is uh, Doom Part 2. Anyway, we got a friend here, James. So, James, what is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is Tremors. 
And there you have it. Anyway, guys, bye bye, Watas. Frida Kahlo was a Mexican painter. She was also known for unique self portraits and works inspired by the nature of Mexico. Artemisia Gentileschi was an Italian artist. She was considered the most accomplished artist in the 17th century, who was producing professional work by the age of 50. Augusta Savage was an American sculptor. She helped fight for equal rights for African American in, in the arts and was associated with the Harlem Resistance. She was also a teacher. Her, stu her studio was important to the next generation of artists who would become known across the nation. I'm Jacob Lopez and I'm going to be telling you the story of Harriet Tubman. Harriet was born on March 1822. She was born in Dorchester County, Maryland. She was born a slave who escaped from Anthony Thompson at the age of 27. She went to help 300 slaves escape slavery. At the age of 25, she married a soldier and then she went to be a spy and a nurse in the Civil War and she died on March 10, 1913. Bye runners! Hello runners, my name is James, this is Alyssa. Ms. Alyssa. Uh, do you enjoy working at this school? I love it. It's super fun. I never know what to expect and there's always something exciting going on. I really wanted to work at a place in my community where I felt like I could make a difference in the lives of other people in my community and I feel like here in the counseling office I'm able to do just that. What's the best part of your job? I'm happy to just do anything that Miss LaDon and the counselors need. Um, I'm their girl. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Alyssa, and bye, runners. Bye.